Hi, let's start off today's math lesson counting by tens. And I'll tell you, I'll show you in just a minute why I want you to be able to do that. Are you ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now, I'm going to show you something new today, and I really wish we were at school so you would have a chance to play around with these, but these things are called base 10 blocks. Now, look at that right there. That tower right there has 10 cubes in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And they are all um, stuck together. So this is a group of 10. Now, what's that? That's right. It's just one of those blocks, but it's all by itself. So when I have one of these, I don't have to count those every time because I already know that right there, that is a group of 10. Now, I don't have one, but there is one that is all stuck together, but it has 10 tens, and those are all stuck together. So if you know what 10 tens is, you would know that that is 100 cubes there. The only ones I have are tens and ones. This is a group of 10. And this is one all by itself. So I have a little math mat that I want to show you. Let me get this positioned right. Oops. And you see here that this is my base 10 math mat. So on this side is where I place the tens. So if I have bars of 10. And on this side is where I place the ones, the ones that are all by themselves. So if I wanted to show you the number five, I would have to put five ones on there because five is just five cubes all by themselves. Now, if I wanted to show you 10, I could put 10 ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten ones all by themselves, but you know it would have been a lot faster. That is ten. That's one group of ten. So right there was ten. This is ten ones but it's a lot easier to do it that way, isn't it? So if I gave you a 10 and two ones, so here's 10, 11, 12. So right here, I have one 10 and two ones, so that makes how many? Right, it makes 12. What if I showed you... How many ones did I give you? Right, there's six ones there. Now, what if I added one ten to those six ones? How many cubes are laying on that paper? Remember, this is ten and six more. Sounds a lot like our teen numbers, doesn't it? So there'd be 16, one group of 10 and six ones. It's just using our base 10 blocks instead of our um, 10 frame cards. So what happens if I gave you four ones and a group of 10? Right, there's 10 plus four equals 14. Now, for those of you that are smart in math, which is all of you. What if I did two tens? So I have 10, 20, 20, 
four. What happens if I added another one? That's why I needed you to be able to count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 30, four. Isn't that a lot faster than having to count every single one by itself? I think so too. So remember, these are called base 10 blocks and we'll be using them again tomorrow. Practice counting by tens.